Hello everyone. I'm going to talk about our work, Pentley Image Harmonization with Adversarial Residual Learning. It is often necessary to cut a foreground object from one image and overlay it on another background image. However, when combining the foreground and the background from different image sources to produce a composite image, the styles of foreground and background may be inconstant, which would severely harm the quality of composite image. When the foreground is photorealistic and the background is an artistic painting, Pendley image harmonization aims to transform the style of the background painting to the foreground object under the premise of the large domain gap between the foreground and the background. In order to achieve more harmonious and visually appealing results, the image harmonization methods for photographic images are not suitable for our work, and the artistic style transfer methods have several limitations when applied to our task. The well-behaved supervised image harmonization methods require pairs of training data, which are almost impossible to acquire in Pentley image harmonization task. The foreground region is prone to be insufficiently stylized, and the pasted foreground may not be naturally blended into the background without considering the locality of compiling task. To bridge the domain gap between photographic foreground and Pentley background, we attempt to employ adversarial learning in the Pentley image harmonization task, and we use pixel-wise discriminators to distinguish foreground pixels from background pixels in the output image, which can help strengthen the generator. We also apply similar idea to the feature maps in the generator, that is, employing adversarial learning to bridge the gap between foreground feature maps and background feature maps. We propose a novel Pentley image harmonization network that contains a dual encoder generator, main encoder and residual encoder, and pixel-wise feature discriminators. In the main encoder, we use pre-trained VGG encoder to extract multiple layers of feature maps from composite image and background image. Then, we apply a DIN to align the statistics between the foreground region and the composite feature maps and the whole background feature maps, leading to stylize the composite feature maps. To further reduce the domain gap and give more attention to the foreground, we propose an extra residual encoder to learn res residual features for each encoder layer. The learned residual features are added to the foreground regions of stylized complete feature maps, leading to refined complete feature maps. Afterwards, for each encoder layer, our pixel-wise feature discriminator takes in the refined complete feature maps place against our dual encode generator by telling disharmonious pixels from harmonious ones and encourages the refined composite feature maps to be harmonious which are delivered to the decoder to produce the harmonized image. The total loss function for training the generator G is this and the total loss function for training the discriminators DFL and DM is this. And the results shows portion can smoothen the boundary between foreground and background, but the foreground content is severely distorted. DIB and E2SDN preserve the foreground content well, but the foreground style is not very close to the background style. And the harmonized foreground may be corrupted. DPH is a competitive baseline, which can achieve good harmonized results in some cases. However, the content structure and the foreground boundary might be damaged or blurred. 
In comparison, our method can preserve the content structure, sharp boundaries, and rich details. In the meanwhile, the foreground is sufficiently stylized and harmonious with the background. Interestingly, without surprising the stylization fact, our method can also maintain the color distribution of foreground. While well, other methods either unstylize the foreground or lose partial color distribution information. Since the style transfer methods do not focus on stylizing the foreground region, the foreground may not be adequately stylized, and the content structure of foreground may be destroyed. Besides, since style transfer methods do not consider the location of foreground in the complete image, the stylized foreground may be incompatible with the surrounding background. In contrast, our method is able to transfer the style and retain the content structure, leading to more visually appealing results. The stylized foregrounds are harmonious with backgrounds, as if they originally existed in the paintings. As the ablation study shows, we investigate the effectiveness of each component in our method. We first remove all discriminators and the residual encoder, and obtain a basic network with multiple scale add-in, which is referred to as V1 in Table 2. Then we add pixel-wise image discriminator DM, which is referred to as V2. Furthermore, we add the residual encoder ER to form the DU encoder generator with it, referred to as V3. Finally, we apply pixel-wise feature discriminators and reach our full-fledged method, which is referred to as V4, compared with the ablated variants the results of V4 have full transferred style, well preserved content structure, and meaningful details. Thanks for watching.